أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فإذا قرأت القرآن فاستعذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إنه ليس له سلطان على الذين آمنوا وعلى ربهم يتوكلون رب شرح صدري ويسر لي أمري بحث لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله وصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم قرآن ويكلي we are now on the 14th juz and I'm reading to you from سورة النحل the 16th سورة and this is the uh, 98th ayah of the surah in which Allah says فَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنَ then when you, whenever you recite the Qur'an look at فَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ not فَإِن قَرَأْتَ not if you recite the Qur'an when you recite the Qur'an Allah expects you to recite the Qur'an because if the expectation was not there it would have been an if if you recite it when you recite it Allah says when you recite it then فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ then seek Allah's refuge من الشيطان الرجيم from the cursed shaitan when you recite the Qur'an, shaitan will come and try to put you to sleep. When you recite the Qur'an, shaitan will put evil thoughts in your head. When you recite the Qur'an, you will remember the other 20 things you had to do and finish it off quickly. This is going to happen when you're praying. This is going to happen when you're just sitting there reciting Qur'an, when you're trying to memorize, when you're just in the plane and you got time and you just pull out the Mus'haf and start reading. It is going to happen every single time. And so every single time, seek Allah's refuge from the cursed shaitan. Say, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ Before you start reciting the Qur'an, a commandment of Allah Azza wa Jal, because this is an, a really important part of your relationship with the Qur'an. And the, the one thing shaitan wants is a distance between you and Allah. Qur'an will bring you close to Allah. He hates that, so he wants to corrupt your experience with the Qur'an. Everything he can do to corrupt that experience. إِنَّهُ لَيْسَ لَهُ سُلْطَانَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا No doubt about it, he has no authority over those who truly have iman, who truly have faith. وَعَلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ And those who place their trust in Allah. In other words, Allah didn't overwhelm us with fear of, Oh, shaitan, the devil's here, he's going to mess me up. Actually, if you trust Allah and say, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانَ الرَّجِيمِ You believe Allah is enough to guard you. Allah is enough to protect you. So when you recite Quran, make sure, make sure, make sure that you seek Allah's refuge. Also, this, this isti'adha is not just because He will distract you or not let you, you know, finish your recitation or make you lazy. It's also because He'll make you misunder, misunderstand, misinterpret. He'll make you want to think something is there that isn't there. So you're saying Allah's refuge shouldn't just be a recitation like, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ You should genuinely seek Allah's, Ya Allah, protect me. I'm about to go enter into your book. I'm about to engage your book. I genuinely need your protection from the cursed shaitan who, who can take guidance and turn it into misguidance for me if I'm not careful. May Allah protect all of us and our recitation of the Noble Qur'an and may Allah keep shaitan away from our recitation of the Qur'an. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Wassalamu alaikum Qur'an Weekly.